Production funding for Making It Up North is provided by the citizens of Minnesota through the Minnesota Arts and Cultural Heritage Fund and by the Lloyd K. Johnson Foundation. How you feeling tonight? <laughs> All right, so when I say ready, 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 you say good to go. Good night. It's, it's that. It's that informal. It's that. It's just casual. I want to do a show <laughs> that just puts people of color on, and not just people of color, but everybody. But yeah. create a space where we know that that's make people know that that's possible. Man, I love hip hop. I think at one point he just yeah. realized that he needed something more. Art is not just isolated. It's not just art, it's, it's a part of life. A celebration of life. Let's go celebration of life. Everybody, let's go celebrate, celebrate. It gives you a way to, to stay relevant, to express yourself, to be yourself. Oh, celebrate, celebrate. Celebrate, celebrate, celebrate. Praise the Lord. Yeah, I like epic stuff because it just, it's inspiring and it really hits your soul. It makes you feel like you're in an epic movie. <laughs> when you, when you, everyone who goes to the theater to watch an epic movie feels empowered and feel like, I am Braveheart. <laughs> so I wanted to feel um, like they're the superhero in their own story. I think of my sequences as not being perfect. Like, I'm just gonna play. If I play in this sequence, it doesn't work out. <laughs> we could create new sequences. <laughs> I was young. Um, I moved to America. <laughs> and I couldn't have the a cappella of friends I had who could just sit in the street corner and just come up with melodies. And nobody wanted to do that here, and I couldn't have friends like that, so I ended up in a computer and a camera. He wanted people to understand him as an artist, understand, you know, just the, the deeper person. Now, we just came from Nigeria. We sold all of our, most all of our properties back home. So I thought I had to make something of myself. I'm, I'm the only boy, the myth of masculinity of, you know, I have to do something for my family. So I was hustling. I was like in a hustle mode. Like my art, I did my art all of my time introverted time was creating art, making music, something. Um, but when we went out, I wanted to show people what we could do. And then um, for this show, what I'm going to do is go to episodes. I have all the exports of the videos of almost most of the shows here. So I'm just going to bring all the episodes in and start listening, watching them, and nostalgia will take over. One most important factor that made me start good at night was out of anger. Uh, because Duluth, as artists, who have been performing in Duluth for a long time, we, we couldn't book gigs as black artists. We only had a white um, lady who was our friend help us book gigs that actually was successful. We only got more successful when we had her book gigs for us with Pistol Luce or all the other spaces. And we did those gigs and it was good. Um, but that was all we had. We're also tired of that. Black folks are, and that's the truth, especially in Duluth. We don't have space. We don't have anything. Most other organizations do. Most other struggles, most of the folks who are dealing with stuff have those things. They have resources. We don't. We don't even have a space to congregate to be us, to talk about cultural themes. We work with white organizations to do that. So why not create more? Why, why don't we have more spaces? He spent a lot of time envisioning 
what this will look like in the beginning and um, along the way has pulled different people in. You know, Mary being one of those people who is a very talented, um, you know, artist and she's one of our oldest folks at Goody Night <laughs> and brings a lot in, especially when it comes to um, finding our arts, our, our actual artists. I'll be chatting with you and Carla. Yes. Both of them, before. so just like a little Q&A yeah, kind of yeah, thing. Yeah, yeah. I didn't really think much about like, oh, this is going to be this in the future, or this is we're going to do this this many times, or it was just I think he had more of that vision for it, and I was just really excited to be a part of something cool. Daniel is kind of the original person. He brought me on as a visual artist, and then we kind of clicked, and we've been running it ever since, which is almost like seven years now <laughs> together. Hey, ready, ready, ready. Good to go. All right, we're gonna get this show started. I have. No We've always had it be an interactive um, experience. We call it a multimedia storytelling experience because it's not like you're coming to watch a show, you're coming to be a part of a show and to kind of break down that barrier between artists and audience that gets put up a lot of the time. Was there anybody out there who wanted to perform anything? We've got about 15 minutes to do open mic stuff. It's like a canvas um, with nothing on it. Kind of literally, that's what we do with the show. Someone starts painting something on it, and everyone comes and adds to it. All right, how y'all doing? Good night, Legacy, make some noise. All right, all right. The, the first show that I was in with him, people missed that show. That show was crazy, man. I mean, he had, he had backup singers. He had a guy come out and do a, a saxophone solo. I'm like, what just happened? And it was like 20 people out there, right? That's it. In the beginning, it was a, a rough start as far as attendance wise. It was something that I don't think a lot of people truly understood. Look at the word. Who names a show Goody Night? But what does that mean? <laughs> it's literally in the name. It's a good night. You're here to have a good time, whether you're performing, whether you're an audience, whether you're here with somebody, whether you've been here before, whether you're here as a new person, you're here to have a good time. The kids, I'm blessed. I'm not stressed. I gotta get this up off my chest. Yes, I'm blessed. I'm not stressed. I'm dropping knowledge upon them before the test. Yes, I'm blessed. I'm not stressed. People say I'm the greatest, but I'm the best. Yeah, I'm blessed. I'm not stressed. So go ahead and get in line with the rest. I'm actually going to bring up one of our visual artists to do one of his live art performances. He does some pretty magical imagery. Um, I'm going to bring Delphin up to the stage. <laughs> I like telling the story of how I started painting or, or why I got into arts in the first place. Moved to the United States in 2010 and moving here I didn't really know how to speak English. I, it was a struggle. You know, imagine you're a teenager and not be able to communicate. Not because you don't want to, because you can't. All right? So, Try to find a way to express myself and tell my stories, and I got into the arts, and which is why today I do what I do. So with that being said, through all of that story, when I think about it, when I'm talking about it, it reminds me of freedom. We've seen singers, we've seen dancers, we've seen uh, spoken word poet, and we've seen painters like me, which I didn't actually think that there would be ever be an event that actually kind of gives a spotlight to a painter. Literally went from performing at the Goody Night to performing, you know, like places like that, like at the World Bank, you know. Today you can find my artworks like all over the place, all over the world. So, but I kind of like um, attribute most of it to Goody Night because this is like the first time that I actually performed in front of a crowd that was in high school-ish, you know, or my church at home. You know, and everybody goes kind of like, hey, you know what, we want to see it again.
I did a goodie night. The first one I did was probably almost like probably like seven years ago, something like that. It's been a while. Um, but he just had me come on and play music. And then the next time it was more to tell my story and kind of give background to who I am and what brought me to where I am in life and all that. So that was really cool to do. And then this time around, I was told they're doing a legacy show and want to bring everybody back. And I was like, sweet, let's do it. Goodie Night is such, has such a nostalgia to it. I feel like anyone who's been a part of it like holds their Goodie Night as sort of like this special sort of memory and this night where they just got to connect in a way that's really hard to do in other spaces. It feels like family when we do things with Daniel, and so I'm just glad to be here. <laughs> I wrote a song called Palace. Um, and I wrote it because I was trying to do music um, in a heavy male masculine um, culture. Uh, yeah. Royalty. See, it's too much division going on. We gotta figure out a way to come together and bring love, bring the magic. Okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. See so much malice, they so callous. I'm setting status, need some balance in this palace. It is a platform for artists and musicians to step out. Um, however, I feel as though it is also a platform for them to be authentically themselves and share their art and their music. Often, if I were to ask, someone, okay, you went to this show and you really like this musician, you know, like, what do you know about them? You know, how did they come up with that song that you really like? You know, what was their process like? Um, a lot of us wouldn't be able to share that and Goody Night gives artists the ability to be able to share more than just that finished, you know, glazed work, but gets to share, they get to share every, every aspect of it. Cooking and cleaning is for like the home, the homesteaders. I'm a homesteader, I got five kids, okay? So I rap, I'm a community activist, I'm a mentor, I do a lot. So I wrote this song, it was just funny because I was like actually in the cook kitchen cooking and then I was cleaning and my friends were like, oh, we're gonna go out for a ladies night. And I'm like, girl, listen, I'm cooking and I'm cleaning. And we were just laughing about it. She was like, cooking and cleaning and cooking. I was like, oh my God, that could be a song. So I wrote it, and so here it is. Yeah, said I'm ready to get it. Uh-huh, said I'm ready to get it. I know, yeah, I know, yeah, I know, yeah, yeah. What? I said I'm ready to get it. Come on, I said I'm ready to get it. Put your hands in the air. Who ready to get it? Okay, okay. I was cooking and cleaning and cook, cooking and cleaning. I was cooking and cleaning and cook, cooking and cleaning and not The biggest thing that I think makes Goody Night unique and different is telling the stories of people who are working their way up. It's real and it's it's being lived in the current moment. It's a great platform for just diverse artists to, to get their name out there and to get experience in a really comfortable audience. So how's it going, guys? You guys having a goodie night? It's been good so far, right? My name's Corey McCauley. Uh, I am originally from the area and write music about just kind of life lessons and stuff. Uh, first song's gonna be Faith. Faith is a song that's just kind of about having faith in yourself, you know, and, and no matter what you're doing, um, to keep that faith because no one else is going to hold your hand, especially once you reach adulthood. Seek a walk down memory lane. Sometimes are good, others fill with pain. Use it as food that fuels my flame. When all that's gone, only passion remains. Sometimes I just sit and cry. Holding you out in the emotional binds. So hard to just let go. Admit to myself that I have no control. 
show. It's all that I have is a faith that drives. Body with a beating heart and a conscious mind. Let it go and trust my faith. It'll all be okay at the end of the day. Early on, Daniel and Goody Night and all this had a really big impact on helping me progress up. And that's kind of what I've noticed just through the years, even as I've like lived out in Colorado and watched Goody Night from afar, is he continues to find artists that are working their way up and allowing them to tell their story. I don't even know if Good Night is going to continue as of today uh, because a lot has changed. I'm not as young a man as I was. <laughs> um, I'm still angry, but I've learned to, to manage my anger in a way that, um, that invests in little efforts. The name universe means universe, right? But look at the word. Look at that word one more time. One verse. It's quite fascinating. I decided to make a record that only had one verse. And that meant one long verse. <laughs> and a lot of breaths are uh, not taken. We make this work. Yeah, yeah. It's good to celebrate life. It's good to celebrate. Celebration of life. And I'm grateful for this moment, so this is the first song that came to mind, so we're gonna try it out. Celebration of life. See, we get it more than deserve. How can we be so reserved? I'm happy I'm here for this moment with you. With you, dust to dust. I'm starting to the reason for joy. Don't be afraid. Praise the Lord. Yeah, yeah, praise the Lord, my celebration of life. Let's go, put your hands together. You have to figure out what your personality is and who you are and, and live in what that's, that realness. That happened for me after my dad died. After that happened, I reevaluated what that meant for me. It's not necessarily the end product. It's not the fullness of time. It's not perfection. Um, success is, to me, naturally where you invest in. If you invest in your family, that's success. If you invest in your art, that's success. That initial process is where I define success. I don't often define it anymore as the end product because if I continue to put in what I need to put in in the initial moment, I have no doubt that eventually things will give. Celebration of life, we will celebrate this life. Oh, celebrate, 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 celebrate. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. My celebration of life. Artists, come up. Visual artists, musical artists, we're going to do the QA. I, I tell Mary, I say, you are good at night. Miri is good at that because to have artists like Miri Delphin um, who, who had that platform to feel like this is what means something to them and be a part of it and forge it into what they want it to be, that makes me happy. I've never actually got the courage to actually get up on stage for anybody. So. <laughs> Last year I played with my friend and here and um, we're always so nervous about oh we cannot make a single mistake uh, everything's got to be perfect and this was the real first gig where we messed up completely and everyone was like yeah you sounded great you're and we still had fun you're always the artist behind your work but you never get to be just yourself you know so it's a great space for that just trying to get by like us all because things are crazy right now but so i use art to save me but i always said that goody night kind of was like the theme song of like my transition into like really believing in myself and um, not trying to fit into a narrative of what it means to be a rapper. It's educational, it's inspiring, it's, uh, um, it's relaxing. It's a goodie night, yeah. It takes form on its own. Uh, being in this community is difficult, it's tough, um, but we had to figure out a way to be in it and this is one of those ways. Uh, goodie night has been my outlet um, of, of finding myself. Um, when, when, when the community don't want to promote you as an artist or create space for you as an artist or value you as an artist, um, 
you have to try and figure out what artistry means to you. And this is what it is to me. This is good enough. That's what it Free, means. Yeah. So um, that's how we started this journey, is we wanted to create our own space. Any platform that creates space for community to have authentic conversation um, counts. All right, jam session at Goody Night. This is the, <laughs> this is the last. Oh this is the last good night for now. We don't know what the future holds. Thank you. Thank you. It's a pause. It's okay. And we are going to make some music together. And we're going to have fun. Thank you, brother. I can sit here and talk about how I know it's going to change someone's life. Uh, but I can't get someone to come. <laughs> you know, like I can't force someone to, to, to come. Um, so for me, I believe it's something that we need more of it. We don't need one good night. We need more different outlets for this kind of form. And I, I encourage people to go out there and, and create it and start it. No, 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 no it's not over. 